So, how does privilege change our journeys? We might each have different kinds of privilege or not. There's race and gender and orientation, financial class, ability, and so many more ways that we humans divide ourselves. And each of these identities comes with some level of privilege or not. So as I was thinking about the journeys that we can make because of who we are, I ended up thinking about cars. So here's my car. I ended up thinking about who has them and who doesn't. And who has gas and repair money, even if they have a car. My next door neighbor doesn't have a car. So they walk almost everywhere they go or they get a ride from someone else. But still the place where we live, it's safe to walk and you can get somewhere in a reasonable amount of time. That's not always true either. Privilege really does affect our journey, how we can make it, and how far we might be able to go, how fast. So I invite you to think about your own identities and how they have affected your ability to journey. <laughs>